Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tech the Gamer. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Today I'm going to be taking a look at a beta mod on the workshop that is probably one of the coolest I've seen in regards to ship defense systems. This is going to be an energy shield, and as you can see here, the appearance of it, I think it's just, I think it's super cool. It's this uh, large oval that'll surround your ship. It's extremely opaque, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. It, it definitely mimics a a shield, uh, something you would see from like Star Trek The Next Generation. So first thing, that's what I want to talk about, is just the aesthetics and how this shield system looks. As soon as we shoot this bad boy, you can see that it changes when it gets hit. So what this is doing is it's, the bullets are going through and you will hear it hit the metal. You can also see it hit the metal, but it's not doing any damage. It's actually preventing any damage from being done to the ship itself. Second thing I want to talk about is one of the coolest features yet of this shield. Believe it or not, it is airtight. So if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, I'm currently outside the shield. You can see that O2 says none. But as soon as I fly into the shield here, the O2 level goes to high. Meaning you can open up these hangar doors, release fighters, and not have to worry about your ship becoming decompressed. Unless that is, of course, if your shields go down, which they shouldn't if you're providing enough power. So this bad boy here definitely takes up a lot of power when you adjust the charge rate. So if we go into here, you have a charge rate set here that you can adjust. So the lower the charge rate, the more health your shield is going to have. And this thing does take up a lot of power. So if we take a look here, I do have a large uh, reactor right there. That is the only other thing I've added onto the red ship, along with the other reactors it has. And if we turn off the shield and on the maximum charge, you can see we're at 96% usage. But if you adjust your shields to a lower charge rate and you activate them, you can see your energy usage is significantly lower and you're able to utilize the full power in these ion thrusters. What I understand from the page is the creator has implemented a custom uh, collision physics system with it to mitigate lag spikes, and I've noticed that. And we're gonna go ahead and shoot the shit out of this ship. We'll see that it's pretty consistent. So no real significant performance drops at all, especially with those effects, meaning that in large ship battles, it shouldn't really affect performance. So I'm going to go ahead and ram this ship into that blue ship right over there. And we're going to see what happens. We're going to see how the performance is impacted. We're also going to see what kind of damage is done. And right before impact, we're going to hit about 50 meters, about 60. So we just completely nailed into the blue ship there. This is going to prevent damage from the outside. So things like rockets, uh, small weapons fire, like personal weapons you're using, that's not going to affect it at all. But damage done inside the shield, or like what we saw here, grid to grid, can still occur. So that means if you're going to ram somebody, it's not going to turn out too well. Now what it appears to have done, not too many blocks seem to be damaged, rather they seem to have just disappeared, which is something I wasn't expecting from that collision. I figured I would see quite a few blocks damaged. That's going to wrap up this short little mod overview of these energy shields. Something super cool and something that's quite a bit of an upgrade from the last thing we had gotten in Space Engineers. I want to thank you guys for watching and I encourage you to come back and check out my other videos.